Hello, St. Luke family, my friends, our well wishes. This is the day that God has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in the day. It's, it's announcement time here at the St. Luke Christian Church where God is with us seeking to save. God want to use you that someone else could meet his son Jesus through you by your behavior, conduct, your action, your words, your ways, your work. Uh, that will catch someone's attention and you be able to testify to who's really doing the work. Jesus said to a crowd one day, my father's in me doing the work. He didn't take credit uh, for it. He glorified God by giving God credit for his whereabouts and what he was able to do. He gave God, the, his father, the credit uh, for that. And when People see the light of, of our works and behavior, our attitude, and they make comments toward us. Let them know it is the Spirit of God that does uh, the work. This is Pastor T.C. Johnson here at the St. Louis Christian Church. Yet another day that God has made. Amen. And I don't know about you, but I know it's just a blessing as I look in, at my life, knowing that it's God who uh, built bridges that I've torn down and would sabotage myself. But God in his awesome, this in his awesome power um, and it's, 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 it's bought us, bought me particularly and specifically, honestly, to this uh, to this point. All right, to our hostile family, hostile crowd, be sure to continue to stay in prayer. Uh, on our announcement, stay in prayer for those on our sick list. And thank God for you prayer warriors. Continue to pray because I believe that uh, a little talk with the master. Yeah, yeah. So keep in our prayers those uh, like Brother Mingo, Ponder, Sister Pat Flowers, Sister Ellison, Tiny Ellison, Deacon Ellison, of uh, our seniors, Sister uh, Jackson, Sister Mother Foreman, Mother Defense, uh, Mother Dixon, uh, Mother Audrey, keep our seniors in prayer. We pray that you know be able to get together with them uh, by the summertime. Hopefully, we will be able to work that out. Many have been asking, or some have been asking about Wednesday night Bible study uh, going back live and people able to come. So uh, we are strategizing on that. But the truth is, some of you got into your comfort zone, so I have to work on it. Let me thank you all for being with us online uh, on Sunday. But Sunday, the house was almost full, and we thank God for you. It was communion and baptism Sunday, and I'm praying that, that you know, you will, as we adjust to this uh, post-COVID environment and have gotten used to some things that, you don't, um, especially our officers, first Sunday, all of our officers should be dressed for duty and be here to help us with that peace call communion. That's an expectation. I'm praying that you'll hear me. But keep our officers in prayer as well and all those who are on the sick legs. Brother, Brother Burris, uh, make sure to keep praying for uh, Brother Burris and keep him in prayer. Our own sister, um, Veronica Fultz uh, and Jacqueline Rutherford, who are convalescent at home, uh, keep them in prayer as well. Uh, one of our members, Forgery Leslie, son, uh, Fabian Leslie, passed, a uh, young man passed, massive heart attack. Funeral will be here Saturday at 12, so please, St. Luke, for those of you who know what we do, uh, come out. He was a, uh, he was a, a graduate alumni of J Gerald Johnson High School, and, and so please come out. We don't know what kind of help we're going to need to be doing. So please, 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 if you will, let's um, let's comfort that that family. Now, if you're in the hospital area, I'm sure you've heard about um, the councilman for our district. Please, please don't go on Facebook and beating the person up. And don't go on getting Whatever, whatever you do, just remember that he uh, has a family, has a mom, whom I've already uh, had some words with, uh, talked with, um, and he's a young man, and the system may want him destroyed, but we we shouldn't, we shouldn't 
we shouldn't want that. So we are asking you to stay prayerful for him uh, that that God would uh, work this thing out in a way that this young man is not is not destroyed. So I want you to uh, pray pray for count the counseling. Um, one of the most articulate young men I've met in all my life, gifted. But you remember I told you that the most gifted are normally the most challenged. The most gifted are normally the most challenged. And, and surely if you're not rooted and founded in he who is the author and finisher of our faith, your, your gift can get you uh, in trouble. Amen. So we want you to continue to pray for um, for the counselor. Our HBCU Sunday uh, honoring HBCU, we will do that on third Sunday, which is the 19th. On that day, if you're a graduate of, of, of an HBCU, be sure to wear your HBCU garb. Men's breakfast for this Saturday, due to the funeral, have been canceled. I received that early. Men's breakfast for this Saturday has been canceled due to the funeral. And we thank God for the men who have um, volunteered to come out and help us uh, with the funeral. Your tax contribution request uh, is in the foyer, or you may uh, email us at secretary at uh, stlukecchsv.org and request uh, an official statement from us on the amount that you gave last year for tax purposes. Please, please, please um, do that. Um, and we will get that. We'll get that to you for your um, for your filing your taxes. All right. Now, um, COVID's not over. There, there are still people catching COVID now. So let's. Uh, if you if you if you encounter COVID, be sure and you've been around us. Be sure you let us know so that we can test ourselves to make sure that we haven't become uh, contaminated. Maybe contaminate others. All right, we thank God for you. Be sure to keep us in your prayers as well. We're coming back with word and worship in just a few moments. But I wanted you to know that um, uh, if you pray, then hopefully you do pray. Be sure to remember our married families, um, spouses, and our single parents who are raising families also our young people and our children remember pray for all of them that god keep a hand of protection um, on uh, those, those families and god will speak peace into those those homes and those homes will uh, operate in a peaceful peaceful way amen listen i'll see you not long from now in word and worship. Be blessed.